stranger. How, How are, are you? you? I'm fine. I can't believe it's been a year. It's not every day you meet someone who's literally held your heart in their hands. It's amazing to see her like this today, I have to say. Thank you. This was Katie one year ago, when a virus suddenly and quickly attacked her heart. I had this pump put in and it wasn't going to give me time with my family. But now I need a heart transplant. Now I'm on the urgent list. Katie waited day after day in hospital for a donor. Then the call came. We found out at 7 o'clock this morning that they found me a heart, which is very exciting. I'm very, very nervous. But anyway, we're going to be going down maybe in about five minutes. I hope. Don't know if we're going to get my heart. I don't know if it's all going to happen, but just so excited and thank you, whoever it is. Katie doesn't know whose heart she received, but she wants their family to know what it means. Thank you very much to my donor and their family for discussing it and making sure that their wishes were carried out because it's incredible. It's given me my life. It's given me my children and my husband and my life back. And you, can't, you can't put into words what that means. Last year, Katie's son spent his 10th birthday by her hospital bedside. For his 11th, she's healthy and home. She knows she's one of the lucky ones, though, because Britain has one of the lowest rates of organ donor consent in Europe. And the gift she received is still one too few are willing to give. If you don't represent women in